Hello there Vinyl Studio users. Uh, we had a request today from a customer who'd like to see a video about how to use Vinyl Studio to record DSD and I don't think we've done one of those before so let's do that now. Uh, I've already created an album this one, Tasman Archer, Bloom. How you do that is covered uh, in another video on this channel so I won't go into that here. Uh, so let's concentrate on how we set the uh, recording device, the ADC, up in order to record DSD. So I, this is on Windows and I'm recording via ASIO, that's generally the best bit. And uh, my this is my uh, ASIO driver which equates to the device I want to record from. Unlikely you'll have more than one. And then here, DSD input, we can select either PCM, which would be the default, and uh, probably what most people use, or we can support, or we can uh, select, sorry, DSD, uh, various DSD rates, one, two, four, and eight, uh, times. Uh, let's go for one. And then we have a, a pop-up here uh, which won't apply to everyone but if you have an RME device uh, you need to select DSD on the front panel. If you don't have an, R an RME device you can suppress the message in future. So let's do that. Okay so we should be all set up now. Uh, so let's just uh, have a blast of music to check that it's working. Here we go. Time for me to take it away. Am I a part of the latest thing? All the latest thing you let go. Alright, so that all sounds promising. Uh, you'll notice that this slider here on to just to the right of the yellow box uh, is disabled. That's because most uh, DSD uh, recording devices don't allow control over the input level. So that's something you're going to have to live with. Um, if the software under records, that's not really a problem. You can always boost the level later. If it over records, um, you're going to need some kind of inline attenuator on the input side of the ADC. That's a question we get quite a lot. A question we get asked quite a lot. And here this box, monitor recording. You can listen to what's being recorded if you want to, certainly. For the first few minutes of the recording it's worth doing because uh, then you know it's working properly. Right, I'm now going to close this dialogue, check level, close this and we're all ready to record. Uh, we have a box here, wait for needle down. So this will uh, has the effect that Vinyl Studio won't start recording until it detects the needle hitting the record surface and it will, more to the point, it will stop automatically when the needle lifts at the end, assuming you have a turntable that does lift the needle. Um, you can use it for tapes, but it's probably better not to. It's a bit of guesswork when a tape starts. Right, so let's set the recording going. Just click record. Alright, so there's a message here about, which again you can dismiss and not see it in future, uh, telling you how to use the uh, wait for needle down feature. So that, uh, just to help you out with that. Let's uh, get rid of that next time. Okay, so now in, in the yellow box it says waiting for needle down. So now I'm going to start the music playing. And Vinyl Studio starts recording. Am I a part of the latest thing? All the latest thing you let go. Okay, so I've now uh, 
stop the music, stop the input. Vinyl Studio detects that, and uh, well, it's it pauses rather than stops because I've got it configured to do that. Um, you can configure it in one of two ways. Uh, I think that might be covered elsewhere on the site as well. Sorry, elsewhere on the channel as well. So uh, I won't go into that. So I'm just going to stop manually. And that's it. Recording is complete. Um, and uh, you can go on and uh, work with it using various tools in Vinyl Studio. Again, there are videos on this channel that describe those in more detail. And that's that, I think. I hope it all works out for you. Bye-bye.